Hi all, Paddy back with you today for another One Football Daily News. We've got plenty for you today. Let's get started with the latest on the Champions League, including some Liverpool fans left high and dry, the freshest transfer news involving two Premier League heavyweights, and a fairly salty salvo for Paul Pogba and France from a World Cup opponent. First to the Champions League final where more than 1,000 poor Liverpool fans were left high and dry when their flights from Liverpool to Kiev were cancelled. Former boxer turned Ukrainian politician Vitaly Klitschko has got involved to try and fix the problem, but there is still doubt over whether those Reds fans will make the final. It's already been tough for Liverpool fans in Kiev, with accommodation reaching astronomical prices and the club upset at the number of tickets issued for the game. To things on the pitch, an Emre Chan could be a shock inclusion into the Liverpool squad after his return to training. Chan suffered a back injury in March and has not played since. So Klopp might be best off leaving him on the bench. We all remember what happened when Rafa Benitez started Harry Kuehl back in 2005. But who should start for the Reds and indeed Real Madrid when they tackle each other in Kiev on Saturday? We're keen to see your comments and starting 11s below. To the transfer window now and sticking with Liverpool, who are not just gearing up for Saturday night's game, but also potentially a big name arrival. Nabil Fakir seems to be the number one name on Jurgen Klopp's list and at 60 million could well be on his way to the Reds this summer. A versatile forward that can both score and assist, he could be the Coutinho replacement that Klopp is after. And if that works out, that front line of Salah, Firmino, Mane and Fakir is enough to make most opponents petrified. Elsewhere, Mauricio Pochettino's five-year deal still has that new contract smell to it, but it seems he won't be celebrating. Instead, he's got his focus on potentially two new players. Ryan Sessegnon seems to be one, with the Fulham left back perhaps the highest rated English youngster outside the Premier League. He'd immediately challenge for a first team spot, and that could perhaps lead to the departure of someone like Danny Rose. The second target is said to be Wilfred Zaha, who reinvigorating his career back at Crystal Palace after an ill-advised move to Manchester United. The winger just seems like a real Spursy player and seems a better move than just punting on yet another overpriced winger from France. Finally, to the latest in World Cup news where Denmark coach Arge Hareide has hit out at Paul Pogba, suggesting that he only cares about his hair. Denmark will face Pogba's France in Group C in Russia, and he didn't stop there with the criticism, describing the current France team as nothing special. This is certainly going to make things interesting when the two teams meet on June 26 in Moscow. To today's World Cup fact, and there are 20 days left until the tournament kicks off in Russia. Incidentally, 20 is the number of cards shown between the USA and Italy when they played back in 2002. Four of those were Reds. But that's it from us for another week. Thanks again for joining us. Make sure you subscribe and comment below. You guys know that comment might be featured at the end of Monday's show. Most importantly, wherever you are in the world, enjoy the Champions League. EBG waking up early in the morning. I push off the whip and get on with this shit. Shit that I wake out, that bitch is upset. And that's what we gon' fall right on all of my hits. Ball with the wall off the wall till I fall off a million. One million, we all getting rich. I'm on so much of this gold, good, but drunk my blood alcohol. Come to get all the suspense. Possibly leaning on from at the scene.